Look at him. He's still awake. You want to give Mommy a break so Mommy can take a nap? You didn't sleep either? No, I just stared at the ceiling thinking of all the things I should have said to John yesterday. Let's go home first. That's all I had to say. Jessica came back and all she wanted to do was see Ryder. I, I should have just, I should have brought her here instead. She still could have slipped away. No, no, she was back and I had her. If she hadn't, if she hadn't seen Ford, if he hadn't okay, reminded Brody, her. Brody, stop, stop, stop. You're going to drive yourself crazy. Listen to me. Jessica will come back. <laughs> Look at your little grin. Are you hungry? Okay, I'll get this round. I'll warm it up. Somebody's gonna get a bottle. Yes, they are. Somebody's gonna get a bottle. Yes, they are. Uh-oh. Let's go see who it is. Who is it? Let's go see who it is. I need to speak to you. Brody, now! What are you doing out of St. Anne's? It's okay. No, like hell it is. It's all right, I'm not gonna hurt him. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna call St. Anne's. I'm not going back to St. Anne's. Don't make this harder than it has to be. I've been discharged. See, that's better. Uh, sorry, it's just the draft isn't good for the baby. Stay back. And don't tell me what's good for my baby. This is Officer Lovett, your patient. Marty Saybrook just showed up at Vicki Banks' house. She says she's been released. Oh my gosh, Liam's gotten so big. Okay, stop talking about my baby. You have no right, not after uh, what I, you did. Nellie, I was wrong. No kidding. I, and I know that now. And I understand wh why you feel this way, but it's over. I'm much better now. What does that mean? I remember everything I did. Uh, that's, that's why I'm here. It's okay. Thanks. She's telling the truth. What? That's impossible. She can't be better. It's too soon. No, I assure you that, that it's not too soon. I am better. I mean, and I want to apologize for Wait, that's going to help? Please listen to me. No, there's nothing you I, can I, say. I, you need to know why I did what I did. No, no. You know what? You're going to upset the baby. Marty. Please, please, I need to say this. So tell your shrink. I promise you, I'm not going to hurt anyone. It's going to make things better. I promise. Just listen to me. I, I won't hurt Liam. I won't, I'm not a threat to him or, or you, Natalie. I, I know I did terrible things. I tormented you and Brody, and, and I made you desperate. You t that's why you took me up to the... Okay, I don't want to relive all of this, Marty. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I just I just want to tell you that, I, that I'm sorry for everything I did, especially for taking Liam in the hospital. I, I thought he was mine. But I remember now, and, and that's what I need to tell you. I, I know who Liam's parents really are. Okay, Liam. It's okay. Here, I got the bottle. <sighs> I was so happy before. Yeah, let me. It's my turn. Come here. Come on. Why are you still here? There's something you need to know. We don't need anything from you, Marty. No, you don't. What? You and John broke up. I mean, he, he told me when he came to visit. Wait, John came to St. Anne's? Yes, he, he said that he's done with you. Your mother was there, too. She, she told me that Jessica's DID came back. It was the news about Liam that uh, put her over the edge, wasn't it? This is part of it. But I can help. I can help with that. I can help no. Jessica. No. Okay, look, you, you've apologized, Marty. Please, just, just go. I can make it all better. Marty, please, go. Just leave us alone. I mean, geez, whoever let you out is crazier than you. Oh, that would be John. John, John, John's the, the he, he's the one that helped me get discharged. What? Yes, John's been a very good friend to me. Perfect. I'm sorry I upset Natalie. That isn't, that isn't why I came here. Wait. You've said your piece. Now I've got something to say to you. Again? What is this, Grand Central? Oh, there should be a line. Okay, I wouldn't mind. Of course you're here. What do you want? What the hell were you thinking letting Marty Saybrook out into the street? I mean, jeez, John, is, is, this, is this revenge? Are you as crazy as she is? Sorry, what's the problem? Your lunatic baby-stealing ex showed up at my front door this morning. Marty's out? Yes, thanks to John, apparently. That's her story. 
Her doctors determined that, not me. They asked for my opinion. I told them I didn't think Marty was a threat. She tried to steal Liam from the hospital. She was confused, all right? Her doctors think she can handle it now. Well, are you sure about that? Are you willing to bet your son's life? That's right. That's right. Liam's not your son because he doesn't share your DNA, so who cares about him? I think it's time you leave now, Natalie. You know what? No, I, I'm going. I'm going. No, you don't have to. Yes, yes. Next time, just say yes to breakfast. Okay. I'm so sorry to interrupt your booty call with a little life and death. Marty's not going to hurt anybody. Yeah, well, we don't know that. And no one asked us if it was okay for Marty to go roaming the streets. We? Who's we? Brody and I thought that Marty had escaped when she showed up. Oh, you and Brody? Well, doesn't that sound nice and cozy? So what are you over here bugging me for? And you got Brody over there to handle it. Is that what you want, Tom? Doesn't matter what I want, Natalie. You made your bed, you lie in it. Next time trouble comes knocking, you got love to protect you. Why oh, you're such a good father. Mm-hmm. You seem so devoted to Liam and to Natalie. You're right. Thank God for Brody. Your hero. Well, I need one, thanks to you. I need an armed guard to protect my son. I mean, how could you, how could you do this? John, do you really hate me this much? It's not about you. Come on, John, you know that Marty hates me. This is just pure spite. Spite? I cover for you, all right? If not for me, Marty has you arrested for kidnapping her. You're gonna hold that over me? You dragged an unconscious woman up to a cabin at gunpoint. Okay, fine. Arrest me, John. Is that, is that gonna make everything better? No, it wouldn't. Right now, I don't want anything from you. Then stop punishing me! Okay, this, this relationship with Kelly and then turning Marty loose on me? My God, John, when is it gonna stop? When are you gonna stop? Hey. Go with me. We're done. You said what you had to say. Get out. I, I only meant that you and Natalie seem like such oh, devoted parents. Not, not that you two are something else. I think you should leave now. Good luck, Brody. I, I only came here to help you. I told you how you can help. I wish you and Natalie and that... my your beautiful son all the best. <laughs>